the droid Iris. So it's a little different than your Moto droid, but uh, obviously the same idea. Now, the couple things you notice that are a little different right away is there's a, um, an Android widget you can place on the desktop, and I'll come back to it, but um, when, when I launch the icon, which here looks just a little different, but it's the same kind of S note, it's just a 3D version of that. Don't mind the developer code there. This is an unreleased app. Okay, so this is running our, so you'll see the station list looks very similar. Right? We have the search at the top. Uh, this one's running a free account, so you'll see there's a banner ad there for a second. Um, but you see, it looks very similar. Uh, yeah. You know, the app is almost exactly the same. Yeah. Um, everything looks and kind of feels the same way. You have the search and, and things here. You have the cache stations. Again, everything works almost exactly how I just showed you on the BlackBerry, um, where we would go, let's see, if I... You know, if I go into alternative, it's going to do the same thing, right? Same tiles, same. So very, very similar. So if you if you uh, install on the Droid, you're going to get, you know, it's going to look and feel just like this, like we showed you on um, on the BlackBerry. Okay. And the nice thing there is that if I go back to my home screen now, let me launch a station. Let me go back. I'll just pick alternative again. Does it automatically kick to the speakers? I mean, yeah, if you have headphones in, it'll kick to the headphones, okay. so it just kind of depends. This All one, right. since it has nothing else plugged in, it'll go to the speakerphone. Oh, okay. nice. uh, so here, if I'm listening to this app and I go back to my um, home screen, you'll see the widget leaves me in. I can still navigate, right? So whether I'm browsing around on my Android desktop somewhere, I can go in and say, oh, I'm listening to Vampire Weekend or whatever. I'm going to skip this song. I don't have to go back into the app to do it. I just leave the widget on my desktop. Yeah. And then I can just go right back. Right back to the app. Okay, so, so that's Android. Now, is that um, just for two point oh or lower Android our versions? Um, it no, it works on one five, one six. six. Oh, I mean, it's going to work better as your OS gets better. Okay. Um, but <laughs> but you know, there's still a lot of phones shipping even with OS one. Well, I think most have got at least a one six, but it works on all the Android okay. uh, OSs as well. Okay, right. so that's and that's a Droid. Okay. And let me go, I'll go to the Palm Pre here next. So this is an app that, this one actually hasn't been released yet, uh, so people with a Palm will get it soon, but it's not out yet. Uh, it didn't move fast enough. And you can already see that it's uh, yeah, very similar. Very it's similar again. Yeah. Uh, not quite as skilled at using the Pre upside down yet. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, you'll see the same, it's again, almost exactly the same, right? You have the station list. Um, you have there's some nice things again with the, the you know just are different from the pre where you once you go into the um, you know their OS it's kind of similar to where the Android where these are you know run in the background and then you just step back into them uh, and then we've got you know again if I go into the alternative station it's going to load up and it's going to feel um, very much like uh, like we have before I think I'm going to no, um, question here yeah if um, let's say you you have Slack you're in and you're you're out about and you're, and you're um you're with a friend that doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. Could you essentially download it on their phone and log into your account? You can, yeah, yeah, you can. Um, but you can also create an account on anyone as well. So if you had, so if you were somewhere, um, and you let's say you didn't have your stuff with you and you wanted to play your music, you oh, I made this really great station, but it's on my phone somewhere. Yeah, you could sign in. You say I'm gonna sign in as me, and then um, all your stations would appear there. Yeah, so anywhere you go, whether it's on the web or some mobile device or whatever, if you sign in as you, all your ratings, all your stations, everything's oh, right nice. there for you. Yeah. And if you're a subscriber, like to our, even to our premium service, um, to Radio Plus, uh, anywhere you sign in, you get the benefits of your subscription. So like if your friend's not a subscriber, but you are, and you guys want to like have unlimited skips or whatever, you sign in as you and then it works. Yeah. But you can just only be signed in to one time at any device one time, time right one device at yeah. A time, yeah and that's not just for us to like you know police you but the other thing is 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 because we we keep track of all your ratings you wouldn't want to be signed into two different places one oh, yeah. person's banning artists and you're favoriting yeah. them and you know it gets yeah. all messed up but uh but yeah so this is the pre uh you know coming soon probably in the next couple of weeks and it's like you said it it looks very very similar uh, regardless of the phone and then um i'll just fire up the uh, iphone first instead of the ipod touch because there's one thing on here i'll show you as soon as that boots, so fast that this one's on or not. No. No question. Any um, future integration to? I know this is away from the mobile space, but mm -hmm. uh, Xbox 360, PS3 gaming systems. Yeah, I, we're definitely looking closely at that. You know, we've done a lot of stuff with Sony. Um, 
we're integrated into their network Blu-ray players, mm -hmm. into uh, the integrated um, Bravia televisions that yeah. have internet connectivity. Um, we're integrated into Sony Walkman uh, players as well. So we're doing a lot with Sony. I would say, you know, the, the, the opportunity for like a PS3 is probably closer than the Xbox 360. Uh, but, but, you know, anything's possible. I know that, you know, the last FM integration the Xbox is pretty good, I think. Um, and I think we would probably look to do something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but we just haven't, we haven't done it yet, but that, that doesn't mean that we, uh, that we wouldn't. We've just been we've been very focused on mobile lately, but I think those gaming systems are, are, are pretty hot. I think that's a, a great place to be. All right, let me show you um, show you a couple different things. Uh, the difference between these two apps here. So this is running on the iPhone. This is again this is a build we haven't released yet. You'll see the warning here that says I'm running in airplane mode. So I have all the radios off, no Wi-Fi, no anything, right? Um, and so my list is shorter uh, because there's no there's no songs to pick from because I don't have an antenna except my cache stations. And so I can go in and again I'll pick alternative. Um, you'll see that it plays right because it's cached, right? So even though I have you know, I'm in airplane mode and I got no no connectivity to anything, the songs are cached and stored. So again, you know I have the opportunity to listen wherever I go, right? Mm -hmm. But you see it looks very similar even on the iPhone okay. versus everything else. Um, you know, you can go with a larger album art on the iPhone or pull in the volume control. Um, you know, I can go in here and get, uh, you know, biographies and things like that, you know, with it, uh, as I'm running a pre-release build here. Um, you know, you can take a look at whatever the next album is going to be and go back. But, yeah, same feel. And then this is, you know, when you have a, I'll just show you on the iPod because this is, this is if, of course, if you have a connection, and again, the look and feel is very, very similar to what you've seen um, on the other apps, right? There's the alt stations, you go in and play, and um, that's, uh, that's just playing a live uh, stream there, okay? okay? And you can see all the, you know, you have information about the band, and you can go in to the station. I'm not as, there we go. Wow, it's, it's amazing how much harder it is to use things upside down. <laughs> <laughs> but then there's things you can do here, even like sharing stations. And a lot of the apps we, we have set up so that you can even configure like your Twitter account if you want so that you can tweet songs that you like or okay. maybe stations you're listening to. And then other people can click on those links and launch those stations. Or you could just share the station. You could even, uh, you know, SMS it or email it to somebody. And it just, it provides a nice short link. And then if they have the app too, they can just click on it and it'll just play the station. If mm -hmm. they don't, it'll take them to a page that says, here's how you get the app. And then if they go back to that page, they can launch that station and play it. So it's cool if you've spent a lot of time building a good station, mm -hmm. um, it's easy to just send it to other people and then they can listen to it uh, oh, nice. as well. So Twitter is the only um, social media integration you have? Right? Twitter is right now okay. the only one, yeah. Um, the As far as automatic goes, yes. right? Okay. We do have obviously the ability where you can generate a URL for any station yeah. and you can post it wherever you want. So okay. if you had, yeah. Um, if you want to do a you know a Facebook update or or anything, right? Mm -hmm. and say, hey, I you know I just made the station. Here's my. You can check it out too, and then anybody can play it from there. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Nice. So that's our. Those are all of our new mobile apps. And like I said, actually, none of these apps, as in the form that you're seeing them, have shipped. But there are. We currently have Android. We currently have BlackBerry. We currently have iPhone apps. Okay. This is just the next evolution of those, and then Palm is coming soon. Okay. Awesome. Thanks.